Hi everybody, welcome to the Makeup Chair. So it's Friday and this week has gone really, really slow. I don't know if anybody else has felt that way, but even though I've been kind of busy this week, it just seemed to really drag. Like it was just going so slow. I can't like, I can't believe that it was only last Friday I did my elf favorites. This week I did um, a outfit of the day on Saturday, which was a collaboration video, which I will be talking about soon because I'm gonna do one with like a load of people. Um, and then on, I think it was Tuesday, I uploaded a hair tutorial and a makeup tutorial. And then Wednesday, I did a vlog video, which I uploaded yesterday. Um, and we went shopping. Me and Sarah went shopping and we did all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of my week. Um, but <laughs> yeah, this, this week has gone pretty slow. Even though it's been fun, it's gone really slow. So this week, I was going to do my bourgeois favorites um, from my Friday favorites. But then when I was going through all my bourgeois stuff, I was like, oh, I don't actually have... All my favorites here there are my parents have I decided to do my essence favorites because when I was doing my makeup this morning I actually used a lot of essence products and I was like oh well this will work out better so I have a little essence guys so let's get into it first thing is mascara this is actually the mascara that I have on right now this is the essence all eyes on me and it's the multi effect one and I have it in black the brush is very very small perfect for doing like right underneath the eyes um it kind of leaves the upper ones a little bit clumpy so you have to be careful there's a lot on the brush so just wipe off any excess or you can just wipe it off with a tissue and if you want to make your um mascara last longer wipe it off with a tissue regularly like clean it with like a baby um baby wipe and that way it gets rid of all old mascara that's left in the wand so that you're always getting fresh mascara so i would do that like maybe like once a week or once every two weeks just to make sure you're getting the most out of the product and this actually comes in brown for you guys who are a little bit paler it's a nice brown and it's kind of the same color as my hair i am a massive massive fan of the designer brow which is number two this is the one that i use all the time this actual um little thing is different color because it was for my other one i also have it in a light kind of blondy one as well they work so so well i'm very very impressed with them they don't look too kind of they're not too waxy but they're not too creamy they're definitely in between they last really long time you can definitely blend it in you're not going to make it look too harsh or anything and the little comb that comes with it is perfect for just brushing it through and getting rid of any you know fakeness i also have the essence brown and this is actually called number eight teddy so it's like a teddy bear um and it's a beautiful color it's actually very similar if you saw um last friday favorites it's very similar to bronze by um elf which is sort of in the tub it's very similar to that but i will have like swatches up on my blog and stuff but this it's a beautiful consistency i blend it underneath my eyes or right by the lashes and then smudge it out and apply like a brown eyeshadow on top if you want to keep it up there all day or if you want to kind of smudge it out and just make it look kind of like an effortless smoky eye i'm actually wearing this underneath my eyes today and a little bit just in the outer corner and i'm also wearing the um essence long lasting eye in almost famous number 10 this is a pearly kind of color. It has a hint of like a shimmer almost. I put it in the inside of my eye and it's not as harsh as white, but it still makes your eyes look really bright and really kind of bigger as well. So if you are looking for a pencil that's not white but cream, then I think this is gonna be a really good one for you. And you can actually place a little bit in the inner corner and just in the top in here as well before you put on your kind of highlighter shade. And the two of them work really well together and then keep it there all day and then keep it nice and bright. You could also line just just underneath the brows with this, smudge it in, and you've got a perfect highlighter for underneath the brows. I do actually have a very light one as well, and this is sort of like a silver white, and it's number two white in the metallics, so it has sort of like a sparkly silver running through it. This does exactly the same thing. You can work it inside the eye to brighten it up, or you can work it in that inner corner and then kind of blend it. It's not great for underneath the brows because it's going to look a little bit fake. And on that waterline, it won't look as natural as this one. You know, this one looks a lot more. Another thing is the lash and brow. And this is the gel um, mascara. What this is great for day to day is just for your eyebrows. I don't have to use it on my lashes. You can use it in your lashes. And in my teen makeup look, I actually showed you how I use this on my lashes. And it gives a very natural look to your lashes. But I day to day use it on my eyebrows. It keeps them in place. And it won't give that wet look, provided you don't apply too much of it, but it just keeps them locked in place, like, all day long. Next, I have my Essence eyeshadow set, and this is to die for. Now, in my vlog that I uploaded yesterday, I showed this up to the camera, and I said, um, Catrice, 
but it's because they're the same brand, they just have different things or something like that. Like there are brands that is connected. So in my brain I said that but I meant to say Essence. This one is matte, this one is a shimmery bronze shade. You have a natural kind of highlighter and then you have a definite highlighter. So one can be used like across the lid. I use this on my eyebrows and kind of for smudging out the outer crease line. Using this in the outer corner and use this as right in that inner corner for a nice highlight. So it's a really awesome, awesome quad. I'll put up some um, swatches, swatches on my blog. Lip products. I only have two lip products. I haven't actually tried any of their lipsticks, but if anybody wants to recommend one of their lipsticks, then do let me know. I have their lip gloss in Stay With Me, and this is my favorite milkshake, so that's the name of it. It's number two. And I know Jen Murphy was saying how cool these are, because these are really, really awesome, and I've been using these for a long time. What I love about this is the shape. And this actually did feature in my Friday Favorites um, lip products video because of the shape of it is so fantastic and they really last a very long time in your lips. This is a nice peachy shade, kind of the same color as my tone. I didn't actually show this in my favorite lip um, products video. This is the Lip Designer in Soft Fuchsia. And what I like about this, it's like a berry tone, so it works really well for like, you know, around Christmas time and stuff like that. So you probably can't see it very close because... I need to sharpen it. But what it does have is on this side it has a brush, which is kind of handy to do because you can have this in your handbag and if you need to top up, at least you have a brush there already. So that's pretty much everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Definitely check out my blog. I will put the link to my blog down there. Oh. And I will talk to you guys soon. I'm Shana KD and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Happy Friday.